In this video, we'll be going over how to create angled windows in Home Designer. In the plan I have here, we'll be focusing on creating windows for the dormer end of the second floor. To help visualize what we're doing, let's create an elevation camera. Go to the 3D menu, create camera view, and choose elevation. In Home Designer Pro, we'd instead go to the 3D menu, create orthographic view, and then cross section elevation. Click and drag to create a camera pointed at our gable end. Then we'll go to the build menu, window, and click window, and click in our attic gable to place a window. It doesn't really fit as is, so click to select the window and click Open Object on the Edit toolbar. From here, we can go straight to the Shape panel. In the Shape panel, we can modify the height of each side of the window. When the side heights match, you'll get a standard rectangular window. However, raising or lowering either of these values will change whatever type of window it is to fix glass and raise or lower that side by what's specified. In Home Designer Pro, we have additional controls to shape the top or bottom corners in addition to the sides. This can allow us to get more control over the exact shape of the window. Raising the height of the inside corners and adding an offset can give custom top shapes, and the bottom corners allow us to angle the bottom of the window. Back in Architectural or Suite, Rather than trying to figure out what exact heights we need to match our roof, we can simply click on the Match Roof setting, which will angle the top of the window to match the pitch of the roof plane above it. At any point, we can also click Revert All to undo our changes and go back to the settings we started with. Let's click Match Roof and click OK, and we'll see our angled window in the elevation view. We can also raise or lower the top or bottom of the window to get it in the spot that we want. To get a matching window on the other side, we can use some techniques in the plan view. First, in our elevation view, place another window. Open it up, go to Shape, and click Match Roof again. Click OK, then go to our floor plan view, and go up to the floor our windows were placed in. In this case, we put them in an attic wall, so we'll go up two floors to see them on the attic floor. Make sure temporary dimensions are on by going to the View menu. Click on the window we just placed, and we should see temporary dimensions measuring each object in the wall. Since we can see how far the original window is from the edge of the wall, we can click on the dimension line measuring our second window and type in the same value. Back in our elevation view, we can then raise and lower the top and bottom until the windows visually match. And we can check our work by opening the specification of the window on the left, making note of its height and floor reference values, and then comparing that to the value of the window on the right. This concludes our video on angling windows.